Thank you very much for this opportunity. So the standard for rectal cancer is TME and irradiation, and uh, the outcome is 5% of local recurrence with 70% of survival. And uh, the opportunity is 16% uh, of complete response, which could be higher if you treat early disease. And the problem we have is that we are not able to make a good correlation between what is a complete clinical response and what is a pathologic, a real pathologic response in around one third of the cases. And this is due to the heterogeneity of the response. And you could see just before me how difficult it is to be sure you have a complete response. To simplify the talk, uh, I decided to separate what uh, I call the not anticipated complete response incidental when you treat big tumor and at the opposite, a program of uh, uh, organ preservation in small rectal cancer. For the first one, first I want to thank uh, the pioneer of organ preservation, Angelita and uh, uh, Rodrigo, who challenge uh, uh, this uh, topic in all patients and not uh, old or commodity patients. And uh, also, we must congratulate the Maastricht team who were able first to reproduce uh, this uh, uh, opportunity. And uh, what I want is to comment the first meta-analysis about the subject and to show you that even if you take a lot of patients, a lot of series, you must remember that most are retrospective, including a small uh, number of patients most are uh, less uh, than 30, and also unpublished data. And uh, the primary endpoint, which was the local regrow, remember that local regrow or local recurrence, not everybody have the same definition, so we have to continue to uh, uh, understand more about what we call uh, the pelvic uh, control in terms of organ preservation. And uh, in fact, they conclude in this first meta-analysis that you have no difference of recurrence and cancer-specific mortality, but by, by contrast, they also conclude that there is a lower disease-free survival after watch and wait. So for me, there is some discrepancy, some confusion in terms of uh, uh, what could be the conclusion of the paper, and it could be because uh, you have only two studies uh, looking at that in terms of cancer-specific uh, uh, mortality. One included 30 patients, the second one 18. And for me, you cannot speak of any evidence bad when you use so small series with a, a limited number of uh, patients. So the single one included more than uh, 100 patients in this meta-analysis is this one, which compare uh, watch and wait and uh, uh, surgery, TME resection. And you must remember the rate of local recurrence, which is not uh, 15, but which is much higher, 38%. That means this is exactly the one third of patients where we are not able to diagnose complete response versus complete pathological response. But very interesting, even if this is an historical comparison, we continue to see that there is no difference suggested between uh, watch and wait and TME surgery. So maybe it is a good option and there is no risk. And this is due to the concept of salvage TME. When you have those one third of patients who in fact are either incomplete responder or real recurrence, it is suspected was we can save the patient oncologically because we are able to do a good TME. But in reality, you have some part of the strategy which includes also some local excision and salvage if it is done very late. You can have some high rate of R1 resection and then you can have some concern in terms of pelvic control and maybe I suspect that this could explain the uncertain disease-free survival observed in the meta-analysis for watch and wait. Outside of that uncertain oncologic outcome, compared to TME, which is the standard, you also have the functional quality of life outcome. 
And you must understand that in most of that one third which recurred, uh, you have most of the time salvaged TME, which is APR. By contrast, when you have a good responder, if you operate immediately, you can save the sphincter all the time. So there is a, a loss of chance in terms of quality of life, in my opinion. And at the end, most of the series, including Watched Way, they never consider adjuvant chemotherapy, which is part of the uh, treatment of advanced rectal cancer, because they consider that they are good prognosis, they consider we have not the specimen, we cannot give indication of adjuvant chemotherapy. But remember that you have one third of the patient who had failure, a recurrence, salvage surgery, sometimes with a bad outcome, and we never discuss that. So at the end, my first conclusion about incidental uh, complete response for locally advanced is that we have unnecessary radiation in some T3 uh, that would uh, require surgery alone, over treatment. We have unnecessary APR because of failure in one sort of watch and wait, over treatment, and by contrast, we also have under treatment because uh, adjuvant chemotherapy is never discussed at all. So for me, there is no evidence base to support watch and wait because of no comparative, no randomization, no phase three, and because there's triple risk. So surgery, outside of APR, outside of old patient, outside of comorbidity, surgery, TME, for me, is still the standard. Now, in the second case, when you have a small lesion, the discussion is completely different. Because you have three times higher chance of complete response, they are the good patient, because you can use local excision, because the scar after a small irradiated a patient is much easier to remove than that for a big uh, initial tumor. It's why you have now data, because a lot of uh, uh, opportunity uh, were coming from this very small lesion. You have a phase two American trial looking at T2, where usually it's surgery alone, but when it is a low rectal cancer, uh, irradiation is used to sa save the sphincter. And in this trial, they use irradiation and local excision, very simple strategy with good results, 4% of local recurrence, good survival. The, what we need is a uh, phase two trial. This trial was done in France. This is a Greca two trial. And we, this is a strategy trial. In three steps, we identify the small tumor initially, the very small tumor after irradiation, and then we randomized. And if a good response, we took the specimen, and uh, after that, uh, surveillance if good pathologic response, and completion TME if PT2. So look very well at the detail of the strategy. This is a strategy trial in three steps, uh, four centimeter initially, two centimeter before randomization, and at the end, good responder PT0 or PT1. So this was published one year ago, two arms, similar patient in both arms, and the, the first finding is that one third, again, again, one third of the patient, we were not able to identify the good responders, one third of the patient, they received completion TME after local excision because it was a PT2. <coughs> but very good news, we have a lot of patient good responders, complete response 40%, subcomplete response PT1, and all these patients had no lymph nodes. Completely different than when you irradiate big tumor, when even after PT0 and PT1, you have 20% of lymph nodes. Here, because they have small lesions, you have no lymph nodes. High security strategy. And most interesting, in PT2, where we remove the, the mesorectum, completion TME, in reality, because we got the specimen, we have only 8% of positive lymph nodes. That means that we can, in the future, avoid completion TME, which is necessary only in a very few patients. The first finding that in half of the patients we are able to save the rectum with a high level of oncologic security, no oncologic risk, and the main finding, very interesting when you are doing a randomization with phase three trial, is this could be the opposite as it, it could be the initial finding. The hypothesis was local excision should be superior 
in terms not oncologically because they are good responders, but we imagine in terms of morbidity, side effect, in reality it was exactly similar. We look at everything, that is the advantage of the phase three. Uh, not only do you look at everything, morbidity and side effect, but you look at everything at two years and you get a lot of data. And the main reason for the lack of superiority is because we have those one third of completion TME, which induce a lot of complication, higher than a conventional uh, standard TME, and that uh, together with uh, the local excision, uh, give no advantage to the intention to treat local excision. So they see the reality in randomization. But no problem is local recurrence, 5% at three years, and no problem with uh, a long-term outcome, which recently look at the five years survival, which was the same in both groups, similar to the published three years outcome. And the reason is because when you treat very small lesion and when you select the good responders, the deaths are not mainly related to rectal cancer but to other causes. So my message from this study, which is the only one published in the setting of organ preservation, it's, it is a negative trial because local excision was not superior to TME, but it is a positive strategy trial because of the oncologic safety at five years and because the strategy can be improved if in the future we avoid unnecessary completion TME. And the future in France will be with GRECAR 12 when we propose induction chemotherapy to increase the chance of response before irradiation for small tumor and the hypothesis is 80% of organ preservation by using, again, local excision. And uh, we included close to uh, 100 patients at the moment. So my conclusion is very simple. If this is not anticipated complete response because this is a big tumor, the standard is still TME, and watch and wait is only uh, for difficult patients difficult for surgery or they, because they refuse APR, and on the opposite for anticipated complete response for early uh, rectal cancer, the standard is still TME, but there is now a new option in standard, which is uh, uh, local excision because you have phase two and phase two trial, and for me, even if I really believe that watch and wait will be the future, even if I use it in my practice, I must recommend that there is no evidence of watch and wait, and you cannot use it for your practice at the moment. Thank you for your attention.